Pay attention, brothers and sisters. This is very crucial and relevant to the da'wah scene today. Allah forbids the argument or arguing with the people of the book or the people of the scripture if it is done without knowledge on the part of the arguer or if it is done without establishing a, an agreeable foundation. What meaning? Not everybody are, not everybody is qualified to be debating. And more often than not, the people that are well versed in debating have a corrupt aqidah. So while they serve an objective and a purpose of uh, perhaps showing aspects of Islam, to the non-Muslims that might cause them to convert or to revert to Islam, in the same breath, it actually misleads the new Muslims and the unknowing, ignorant, layman Muslims because it corrupts their belief and their uh, way of thinking and it diverts them from the way of the Salaf. Most of these uh, public speakers debaters, comparative religious, uh, religion uh, pre representatives do not have the sound aqidah to be discussing the subject matter in the first place. So they will promote Tawheed, but they will promote the aqidah of the Jahmiyyah and the Asha'ira in the process. Or you have someone like Shabir Ali, uh, Shabir Ali, if you want to give him the Arabic, the Arabic pronunciation of him, Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali will, will corrupt your deen. 98% of your deen will be corrupted by listening to this guy. And while he could be good, while he is actually good in his past, in the past he was good in debating with the Christians, but for what? For what? If he comes across a hadith in Bukhari, he will deny it and dismiss it because he's a rejection, he's a rejecter of hadith, unless the hadith agrees with an ayah in the Quran. He, he, any hadith that is uh, uh, problematic for him, he dismisses and he says that we cannot rely 100% on narrations. Besides, besides other calamities and other uh, elements of disbelief that he promotes in his uh, recent uh, classes that he has, يعني عجيب الرجال عجيب في ضلال مبين أعوذ بالله من غضب الله even even people like Ahmad Didat and and uh, you know again we've mentioned many he was he was a lion and against the Christians but Ahmad Didat rahimahullah did not have the sound aqid of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah either uh, Muhammad Hijab and those brothers again they they get uh, they deal with all types of philosophy and philosophical foundations and philosophical nonsense and in the process they make all types of blunders all types of blunders about the names and attributes of Allah and about the nature of the Quran and so many mistakes can be highlighted from their speech because they're using a foundation that is not pleasant that is not pleasing not agreeable to the way of the righteous, righteous predecessors so that's why all of these debates actually should not take place. And then of course, the worst of all of them, the worst of all, no doubt at this point is uh, Daniel, who li literally picks up uh, uh, trash from the dumpster and brings it and puts it in front of people. Trash ladies, trash men, homosexuals, people that uh, prefer uh, having relations with animals, any kind of loser that he sees walking down the street and he wants to flex his uh, uh, debating skills, he brings him onto his uh, platform and he collects a massive amount of money from people donating nonsense because he's, you know, he supposedly defeated a person that, that otherwise deserves absolutely no attention. And at the end, you get promoted, you get invited to become a Diobandi or to give Diobandis your full support. You see what I'm saying? I'm calling it out as it is so you can be aware of the reality. So this matter of debating the people of the book, if required, 
should be done by the people of expertise. What is the better option? Give them lectures. I've given before and I know many du'at have given hundreds of lectures to Christians. Bring them, I'll talk to them about Islam. During the Q&A, we could have what we can call a, a back and forth dialogue. But debating in the format that we know today, where you have a moderator and this guy has 10 minutes and this guy has 10 minutes and oh no, no. Most people can't handle that. And most people, while they will do some good, they will bring about far greater damage and they will leave the people with all kinds of doubts that they don't know how to address or they don't know how to uh, get themselves out of. So you've been warned. You've been warned that 